It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was bringing his friend Alfie to a demolition site. Hello, Thomas! rattled Jack. Hello, Jack! puffed Thomas. I guess everyone likes demolition, said Thomas. I love demolition, said Alfie. It's when we get to knock buildings down. That's supposed to be fun, asked Thomas. The best fun, cried Alfie, and he swooped down the ramp. Look out, small fry, boomed Max. I'm not a small fry, said Alfie crossly. He didn't like being teased about his size. Later that morning, Alfie was happy that the foreman had sent him to work with Ned. Ned wouldn't make him feel small. But as Alfie pulled up, Ned swung his bucket. Watch out! cried Alfie. Sorry, said Ned. I didn't see you. You're smaller than you look. This made Alfie feel even smaller. Later, Alfie was working hard. Hurry up, half pint, teased Monty. No half pint, Grease Max. It's small fry. Ha! Alfie was upset. At the workman's tea break, Thomas could see that Alfie was unhappy. What's wrong? he asked. I don't like being small, complained Alfie. As long as you're useful, said Thomas helpfully, it doesn't matter what size you are. Alfie thought about this for a moment. Break's over, shouted Kelly. Back to work. That afternoon, Alfie was determined to be really useful. He was helping Oliver demolish a building. Oliver's giant scissor claw grabbed the top of the wall. Stop! cried Alfie. I can hear something. Everyone stopped work. But no one could hear a thing. I already checked inside, said the foreman. Small friars hearing things, sneered Max. I did hear something. I really did. The foreman looked inside again and he was surprised. There's a mother cat in here and she's got kittens. We must rescue them, said Alfie. The building isn't safe, said the foreman. I can't send my men in there. I'll go, said Alfie bravely. I'm small enough to fit in. In no time, Alfie wriggled inside. The building creaked and plaster flew. Alfie held up his scoop for the cat and the kittens to jump in. Here, kitty, kitty, Alfie coaxed. But the cat and the kittens didn't move. Suddenly, the upper wall started to crumble. Hurry, kitty, kitty, Alfie cried. But it was too late. Quick as a wink, Alfie covered the cat and her kittens with his scoop. And just in time. Phew. The cat and the kittens were safe. Well done, said Miss Jenny. It's a fine family of kittens. I couldn't have rescued them if I'd been any bigger, said Alfie. You may be small, said Kelly, but you've got a big heart and a really useful scoop, said Thomas. Alfie was proud and he never complained about being small again. <laughs>